There we go. Okay, I think I'm all set up here. That's good. That's good. All right. Let's mess around a little bit. Um, so welcome. Um, I run a YouTube channel called The Industrious Rabbit, and I do a lot of um, uh, video stuff. Um, lately, it's been retro-ish stuff, um, especially around Amiga computers, which I used a lot of. And um, what I'm going to be doing here is using this particular setup where I have um, a drawing tablet over here. Like I have a Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, and it's actually connected to this desktop I'm stream streaming from. So I can control um, the mouse on this Amiga with an actual drawing tablet, like with an actual stylus. Um, so I can actually like not have to draw with a bar of soap, uh, which is just never fun when I was doing this when I was younger. Um, and I have installed on here um, applications. I have Disney Presents the Animation Studio, uh, which is a piece of animation software I used to use a lot when I was a kid. I actually know the answer to this one, even though I don't really need to type it in. And so um, what we have here is the Dis Dis Disney Presents the Animation Studio was a piece of animation software that was pretty revolutionary for the Amiga at the time because it included a feature called onion skinning, which if you've ever done traditional animation, um, typically when you were drawing on paper, you'd have pretty thin paper that you could like see through for about three or four layers. And that allowed you to very easily draw keyframes and then in between them. Uh, so you'd be able to do something like this. Yep, clear. Um, so you draw a ball over here, and then you advance a frame. You draw a ball over here. Really, really accurate drawing here. And then if you want the ball to move, you draw the in-between frame. And then you kind of swap them around. And you hit play, and you have your moving ball. It's exciting. It's really great. Uh, but this was pretty revolutionary for the time, especially that, um, you know, you, you could actually do, like, traditional hand-drawn animation now in a similar way that you would do it on pencil and paper, which was pretty cool. Stop that. Clear that. And what I've been doing besides, like, just messing with the stream and getting it going um, is trying to figure out just how this software works. And since this software is over 30 years old, uh, it works much, much, much differently than your typical animation software. Like I do all of my animation in Krita on my desktop. And so what I want to do is figure out how this software works and uh, potentially do an actual like little piece in it. Uh, so probably not going to go for too long tonight, but I want to make sure that my setup is good. Um, I'm doing some different stuff. Um, I have like more stuff going on on the screen now. Um, and do stuff like that where I make it large. Uh, so I'm going to mess around for a little bit, maybe try to do a very quick little uh, animation, maybe, you know, a little character animation moving around or something. So we'll see what I do. Um, let's go with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So one thing about this already is that there is one level of undo. Um, you can undo exactly one step. Um, and considering the setup that I have, uh, undoing that one step might mean undoing like accidental touches on here if I'm switching to applications or whatever like that. Um, so I don't know where my animation glove is. Um, I'm just going to have to be very careful about my hand placement for this. But, you know, I'm just messing around, you know, see how it goes. <clears throat> so let's do... Um, so we're going to keep this really, really easy. Um, I'm going to have a character kind of move the head from one side to the other. I'm going to do Topaz, uh, who is the star of my YouTube videos. So I'm going to have his head start over here and we're just going to draw, just going to draw a neck and we're going to have the body do the chest like that. Oop, that's right. Uh, we need to change the screen resolution, uh, screen format. And of course, 
uh, being that this is 30 year old software, it's going to destroy all your work when it changes screen resolution. But now I have 320 by 256 pixels to work with. So I have a full PAL screen. <clears throat> it's fine. Um, we're gonna do, I'm gonna just draw a little circle for the head. Uh, we are not gonna go super detailed. Uh, we're gonna have that here. We're also not gonna draw any actual details on the character. We I wanna make sure I get the motion down right. Uh, I'm probably gonna do like eh, seven frames. That should be enough. He's just a little bigger. So of course in the in the nineties, um, you know, root is down here, and he's going to kind of pivot on his feet. Uh, so his hips are going to be roughly in the same spot, uh, but his chest is going to kind of swivel around to the other side. Um, so it's going to kind of go like that. So it's going to draw some guidelines how I want this stuff to go. Um, and that this frame is totally messy. That is totally fine. So we're going to go to the next frame, and you can see now it's dimmed out. Um, any animation software nowadays we're doing 2D animation has an onion skinning feature. Like I said, I use Krita a lot, so that works out pretty well. So we're going to draw this head and try to make it the same size. So we're going to sit back here. And of course, we only have one level of undo, and to actually erase stuff in this requires holding down the right mouse button, because uh, of course, they're expecting you to draw with a bar of soap. They're expecting you to draw with a tank mouse. Um, and the software that I use to actually control the mouse pointer on my desktop um, is much different. Um, does it allow me to move? It allows me to stamp. That's not what I want. That's useless. Yeah, that's, that's not what I want at all. That's, how do I get out of that mode? Okay. What was that? Brush. Did I break? Do I have to right click on a thing? Sometimes you have to do that in this software. You have to like right click to like clear stuff on these things. There we go. All right, let's try this again. There's no moving. We're gonna do it from the rooted, his rooted hips. Feet. So he's not gonna move that far. So we're gonna have to see how erasing works. Can I erase a big chunk? So hey, there we go. So I can kind of do that. that we'll see that he bounds up on his feet a little bit which will bring his hips up do 
do that. I think that head could come out a little farther. So now we want to have, and you know what we're going to do? We're going to save a lot. Like we're going to save constantly uh, while we're working on this. See fast is the internal format. Um, volume. Uh, save it here. Uh, can I make a directory? Can not make a directory? So we're just going to call it. Fast one dot C fast. All right. So we're going to want this to like really swing down. So we're going to do one that's not quite at the center because that looks boring when you do an animation like that. So we're going to do this. And I don't really care how sloppy it is. Um, just gonna be tucked in over that. Head could be bigger. Trial this. You can use the J key to swap. All right, so this. We don't even have arms on here, but we can add arms later. That's no big deal. Um, so what I want to do now is I want to have another frame to allow me to in between these. So I need to insert a blank frame here and push the current frame I have over. And I learned that the best way to do that is with this one, because this one preserves that frame. These two do not. Um, they copy and paste stuff to a weird clipboard, which is different from that swap thing that I was using. I it makes no sense. Um, I'm sure it would make sense if back in the 90s, but it doesn't make any sense now. So I want in between these two frames. Um, so I'm just gonna do a straight in between here. We're gonna do it real, keep it real simple, nice and simple. I don't have the original buck like the original I don't have the original box for this but I did when I was younger and what was really nice was like for the manual was huge and as you walk through like a lot of animation principles like Disney was really trying to bring a lot of the tooling um, that they use to do their their animated features and television shows at that point too um, into the reach of um, Amiga and PC users. There was apparently a PC version of this as well. Like that. The neck is going to go there. We're going to swap these. Alright, and that goes up like that. So I need to have it in between there. Um, that can I change my level of onion skinning? 
Yes. Okay, I can. Whoa. I have a theory as to how they're doing this, but I need to kind of dig into um, source code, either, either how it's actually running or like kind of poke around in memory while it's running to figure out how it's actually doing this onion skinning in an efficient way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is like a 16 color screen uh, and they're just taking these one pixel bit planes. I want to have this, that, so I need this by this head here. No professionally trained animator, just kind of pick stuff up over the years. Um, I've had a little bit of training, just a little bit. These are require a lot of cleanup, but that's fine. So let's run this through and see how it looks. Uh, let's see, change the frame rate. Let's bump that frame rate down. It's running really fast. It's... That'll work. Yeah, the head's a little too small in this one. So let's make it a little bigger. So I want to put another frame in here to slow that down. So I'm going to insert. Be even closer. Straight up in between this. Let's go to the big mode. So I'll put in one more in between the frame between these two. All right, so I want to make this bounce up a little less. Rip cage down. So down. And we'll swap these. Uh, 
Alright, that's good. Let's put the arms on here. This probably gonna be more straight ahead animation for these arms. And tuck them in. As she turns. them a little bit. Oh, I have reached the limits of the screen over there. That's weird. Can I turn off the toolbox. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, now it would be good if I could get the keyboard shortcuts for moving uh, between frames. That's up in the menu. Uh, there's undocumented keyboard shortcuts. Um, keyboard commands, 313. Press help, where's the help key? There we go. Left, right arrow, backwards, forwards, one cell. This is an FSUAE setting. I might have to restart the emulation. Yeah, Amiga joystick, default length keyboard. Yeah, turn off the keyboard, or turn off the joystick. Yeah, we're going to have to restart the emulation. Good to know. Alright, let's restart the emulator. Save that setting, and let's see if this does it. All R. I actually have an emulated hard drive all this is on, so theoretically it boots fast. 
Card apps. It's your animation. I know that one. Okay. So, can do the arrow keys work? Do not work. How do the arrow keys work? There we go. All right. Let's see if we can turn off the toolbar. Oh, should be arms. Let's fix that up. The lag on this is just enough that it's it's kind of throwing me. Just the slightest bit of lag. Still better than drawing with the bar of soap. Good enough. All right. Let's save that. Uh, what? <sighs> Toolbox. Well, that's certainly better than anything I ever produced in the 90s. All right, so let's add a few more things to this, uh, this, this, little, this little bunny here. Um, start by getting his ears so that they move right. Um, and what we want is for them to be in the right position here. Um, probably, I should probably want one more frame in here as he settles into it. So I give the ears a little bit of time to settle. Uh, so we're gonna do that. And one more frame. Uh, we're gonna turn off That one, so I only see the prior frame. I was gonna have him settle into the pose a little bit. Oh. Um, make a U is undo. OK. 
Okay, just settle down here. So, same position. This arm will settle down slightly. Let's bring this down. Bring this down. Let's see how these fingers go. So that's more straight ahead -y. That's fine. Go box. All right. So what we want is on this frame, we want the ears to be settled in the right spot. So we're going to do this. We're going to turn off the toolbar again. So ears mount roughly there. Whoa. Whoa. In this frame, oh, because I can see what's going on. Swap. I'm actually going to shoot ahead. Yeah. Just slightly. Because it's going to be moving like this. And it's going to try to get the motion down. Maybe a little, a little floppy here. I'm going to blur a bit. Because you're going to 
moving fast. Yeah, that's all right. <sighs> um, let's actually do some cleanup. Um, we've got a lot of messiness stuff here, so I'm going to do a bit of a cleanup run over it. First, save. I should put the logo right here. This hair is going to be like here, but it's going to need some cleanup. I almost tried to pinch zoom this. Uh, no pinch zoom. So we are going to go knock that frame out, knock that frame out. And immediately start fixing stuff that I screwed up. spot. I should open.
Now, one thing, if I did have that very large uh, book that basically um, talked about um, principles of animation, um, it would say that when a character um, is like doing this sort of like turn like this in animation, you typically make their eyes blink. Um, it helps it feel more realistic. So that way they're not some sort of like constantly unblinking creature, which I have definitely done in older animations. Yeah, it's gonna be like that. It's gonna look pretty sleepy in this frame, but that's fine. Okay, we'll mess with the hair on another pass. So we're gonna take that frame, swap, swap. Okay, my nose is getting a little short. It's over here. Um, two. Too small. So I got too small. Try to be don't have a lot of pixels trying to do this. Too low.
Getting a little too messy. Let's clean it up in another pass. So we're gonna knock that frame out and see what we got. Or I completely screwed up how I was going to do that. Oh well. Uh, let's get this actual cleanup over here then. So I'm going to do this last frame and then call it. Again, this is just an experiment. Want to see how well this works? Uh, see, it's been working pretty well.
All right, that's looking pretty good. Uh, I think I'm gonna call it now. Uh, we're gonna save this and pick this back up next week um, as I continue to get good um, with Disney Presents The Animation Studio. Um, I'll see y'all.